A decades old tradition right here in our area is back and just in time for Labor Day. The Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church hosting its barbecue sale on Monday, but you can buy so much more than just barbecue. Joining us now is Kaki Taylor. Why is this event so popular? People look forward to this every single year. Well, it's a tradition. Um, first of all, you've got barbecue that we've been doing for years, so we're really good at it. And then you have the pastries, of course. You have dessert. What do you have here? I have um, blaka, bakla, <laughs> baklava that everybody probably thinks of when they think of Greek pastries. Um, these are curambiedas, which are like a wedding cookie. And then these are the melomacaronos, which are honey with nuts on it, just absorbed in honey, the cookie. And so um, that's just a little bit of what we have. And they're just, they're, they're a crowd favorite, so. What are some of the favorites when it comes to the barbecue? The barbecue, well, we're doing the Boston Butts this year. Um, and that is what we're sticking with. So that has been something we started around COVID and that has kicked off really well. It worked real well for us, so we kept doing it. So. That's what we're going to do again. <laughs> so the line of those cars and people drive up and pick up those orders. How does it work this year? How will it work? Well, we have a drive through which we've always had before. You'll have a drive through and then you will also have a walk up. So you can park it, come sit down and get your pastries. Um, the pastries will be in the inside. So you'll do the pastries on the inside. You can walk up and pick up your Boston butt or you can drive through and we'll deliver. The beauty of that too is <laughs> if you don't really have plans this weekend, let them do the cooking for you, right? Exactly. <laughs> you can come with the main meat and dessert and then that's great. covered over half of the meal. Let someone else bring a few of the sides. How can people order in advance? What do they need to do? We don't have an advance order, but we do have a lot of plenty of supplies. So just come up and tell us what you want and we'll get it taken care of. What time? We start they? at eight. We'll probably be there till around two or till supplies last. Do you run out? Have you run out in years we past? We have run out in years past. Early is my recommendation, but we will, you know, it'll be there for a few hours for sure. Eight to two or eight until, depending <laughs> on if supplies last, especially with those Boston butts. Get there early. Yes, exactly. Get there early. How early ready. do you typically see people out there? Oh, we've seen them way before eight before, <laughs> but we usually have our ready at eight o'clock to get things going. So that's close to eight as you can. And this is on Monday. This is on Monday. On Labor Day. Yes, on Labor Day. We've done it every year on Labor Day, so you can count that on your calendar for next year and the years ahead. So, Any plans to add to the menu for the Labor Day barbecue sale? Well, um, every year we do kind of visit I know everything. You, yeah, so I know you do different things sometimes. We'll, we'll do it this way this year, and if we think something will be better next year, then we may revamp. I don't know, but we're gonna. this has worked in the past, so hopefully it'll be another good year. So if you want to participate, you should probably Probably get there at eight, eight until maybe two if they still have supplies and food <laughs> at two. But if not, until they run out. Where are you located for people? We to are seventeen twenty one Mount Meigs Road um, near downtown Montgomery. So come see us. Anything else you want folks to know? Um, no, we just we just invite everybody to come. If you haven't come, it's definitely worth a try. And those that have done it years past will tell you uh, they. We get repeats all the time. So. All the time coming back to get the good food yeah. and the good desserts. Pastries. And pastries. <laughs> Some people just come for pastry, so it's definitely worth a trip. All right. Thanks so much for joining us here on right. Alabama Live. We appreciate it.